Um, right. Let's go ahead and get the latest on the 2 a.m. update that just dropped in from the National Hurricane Center. We do have a rapidly intensifying hurricane just a little more than 100 miles off the coast of the mouth of Tampa Bay. And guys, so can you can you west. jump over to weather one, if you don't mind, please, in, this, in the control room there? That way we can get that update on there. There so it there is. Category three hurricane. We officially have it as of the two o'clock update. This was a originally 110 mile per hour maximum sustained wind speeds. We saw not only the pressure drop significantly, we're talking 945 millibars wow. now. That is a significant drop in pressure. Then you have these winds bumping up to 120 miles per hour. Once the maximum sustained wind speeds get to 130, that actually takes us to a category four storm. So the National Hurricane Center knew that this with this area just being very ripe for rapid intensification, rapid strengthening. We are seeing this track continue to the north now at 15 miles per hour. So that forward momentum is still moving right towards the Big Bend region. But check this out, likely making landfall throughout this morning, later this morning as a category four storm. That means it's now going to take longer. It will take longer for it to weaken after landfall, which it will do. It will weaken after landfall, but it likely will maintain at least hurricane potential hurricane status as it does approach Charleston by later in the day today. You'll see it will eventually weaken to a tropical storm on the other side in the Atlantic, but the big story is just I hundred and thirty mile per hour expected along the uh, near the eye wall, especially to the north and to the east of the eye wall, but that will expand along the coast there. And that's where we're going to feel those hurricane force winds that actually will be very well to our north. We're not looking at hurricane force winds here, but we are talking about a substantial situation, a very serious storm that is pushing towards just to the area west of Cedar Key, really towards the Big Bend region. Areas of hurricane force wind expanding about 20 to 25 miles out from the center of the storm. The tropical storm force winds, even as it strengthens and pulls away, the tropical storm force winds, those just continue to extend more than 160 miles out from the center of it. And that is wrapping around easily, easily through the nature coast to the immediate bay. Those sustained wind speeds just continuing to hold through this morning as we take you through the next several hours. I mean, we're talking exceeding 30 miles per hour at times, gust closer to 50 and 60 at times, which we've already started to see those peak wind speeds. Past sunrise, you see how it's making landfall up there, continuing to really drive all of that southwest wind pushing right along the bay. I mean, we're just seeing all that energy pushing quite a bit of that water on shore. By midday through tomorrow afternoon, here locally, we won't see as strong of those wind gusts. It won't be as windy. It'll still be gusty from time to time, but notice how there will be very slow and very gradual improvement when it comes to those winds impacting the immediate west coast. Of course, up to the north, though, those were our neighbors that are going to be dealing with the most significant impacts uh, when it comes to those winds, Bobby.